When setting up a drive, the first step is to mount the drive. Install the drive on the backplate by using the template as a guide. Frame 1 and 2 drives will use 3 mounting screws and then frame 3 drives will use a 4th mounting screw as well. To mount the drive on DIN rail, press the DIN rail release clip, slide into position and then release the clip once the drive is secure. Step 2 is to wire your drive. Start by connecting your motor earth, followed by your motor phase cables. Then your supply earth, followed by your supply cables. Once you've connected all of your power cables, move to the control wiring. There's a wiring guide available in the step-by-step -step guide and in Marshall. Start by connecting your analog inputs and analog output to the first row, then move to the second row which are for your digital inputs and your digital output. and then the top row for the relay connections. When powered up, the drive will display I and H, which is for inhibit. Pressing the settings key, we'll go into the parameters, and parameter one is our minimum frequency limit. Parameter two is our maximum frequency limit, Parameter 3 is our acceleration rate, and parameter 4 is our deceleration rate. The default values are all fine for my application. Parameter 5 is our reference configuration. A setting of 1 means a local remote configuration, where you have an analog input 1 and analog input 2 signal. Parameter 6 is our motor rated current. For me this is 0.7 amps. Parameter 7 is our motor rated speed. I can scroll across to the hundredth digit by holding the up key. Parameter 8 is our motor rated voltage. Parameter 9 is our motor rated power factor. Parameter 10 is our run stop configuration and a setting of 1 means enable run forward and run reverse. So I'm in an inhibitor state, so I need to first switch to my local reference. I then want to give the drive an enable and the display will switch to ready. I then give the drive the run signal. And it will run up to my maximum frequency limit if I'm applying 100% of my reference. I can then tweak that and decrease the speed of the motor. I can then remove the run forward signal. and then engage the run reverse and the motor will run reverse and re removing the run reverse the display will show decel again until it stops and then removing the enable and I'll go back to the inhibit state